Hey, this is Dr. Gina, and we're here to talk about self-talk 101. Does that mean the words I say out loud to myself, the words that I'm saying inside of myself, the words I'm thinking? Well, guess what? It's all of those. But sometimes we're not even aware what we're saying. I have a lot of people that, you know, when I say, well, what's been your self-talk this week? They're like, I don't know what self-talk is, so I suppose I need to teach people what self-talk is. Do you know, have you ever been in a room where the radio is going on and you've tuned it out? Does that mean the radio's not playing? No, it just means you've tuned it out. So guess what? It's the same way on the inside. You're constantly talking to yourself, but a lot of times you're tuning it out. Does that mean it's not impacting you? No, because guess whose files those are? Those are your files that are coming from you. When we self-talk, we have to, one, learn what are all the old files going on inside of us, and two, we have to figure out what are the things I want to change, and then three, are how do I go about changing them? So one is just recognizing there's dialogue going on inside of you all the time. But guess what? Sometimes that dialogue really isn't yours. What do I mean by that? Sometimes the dialogue is pre-existing tapes or records like parents' voices coming back or people that bullied you coming back. Things that are just talking on the inside of you and you're hearing it, but you're not hearing it, but it's impacting you consistently. And so then you're like, okay, well, do I like what I'm hearing? Well, you usually know if you like what you're hearing by what the outcomes are. Let's take, for example, um, I'm insecure. I've been insecure. Sometimes I'm like, I'm not good enough. I don't feel good enough about myself. And I hear that. So I start depending on other people. So someone else says, I think you should wear this dress. They like this dress, but you know what? I think this dress feels a little uncomfortable on me. But because they said it, I listened to them and later, my self-talk is, this dress is really uncomfortable. I wonder what other people are thinking about this dress. And my insecurity, that old file of insecurity, whoo, goes up again. So you see, self-talk can become very complex because it's not only influenced by my past, it's influenced by what people are saying to me in the now, and then what do I want it to look like? So number three is, how do I start changing it when I decide I don't necessarily like it. So let's say I don't like the fact that constantly through my life I've said, I don't think I'm good enough. I, I don't feel good about myself. I don't like it. I hear it inside of my head. I want to change it. So what do I do? Well, guess what? Your brain is pretty smart. It is not going to catch you lying to yourself. So if I say, I am just totally confident, my brain's going to be like, eh, that's a lie. So that thought isn't even gonna stick. I have to get words in my self-talk that match and are reasonably believable. So if I've been insecure all my life, I don't wanna say to myself, well, I know I'm totally confident because I'm not gonna believe it. And if I don't believe it, then my body won't respond, my mind won't respond, I won't see it, and it won't be true. So I might say something like, on a daily basis, I'm working on building confidence. Guess what? That's believable. I bring it to the present. I understand what the past was. I understand I didn't like what the past brought me and I begin to shift. So then if someone says, why don't you wear this other dress? I'm beginning to feel secure. So I'll be like, you know, I don't really like that dress. It doesn't feel real good on me. I've just created a new line of security. So these are the things that can really help you when you're building self-talk. And these are the simple things of self-talk 101. Thanks. This is Dr. G.